Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. I have a wonderful guest in studio today. It's Dan Peterson, and he's the owner of the Compass for Life. Welcome, Dan. Thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit what the Compass for Life is. I like the names. Yeah, so it's a counseling, coaching, and consulting practice uh, here in Naperville geared towards helping parents, teachers, and um, school systems develop a real clear, intentional plan on working with challenging kids. Okay. So, so, and you've kind of set me up there, but what's, what's the ideal client, or when is that, those teachers, those parents, ready to come see you? Yeah, when they're at their wit's end. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, usually it's when their child or adolescent is, their, their challenging behavior has just become too much, there's too much stress, they're not sure what to do, and they think that their kid needs therapy. Those are 99% of the phone calls that I get, and... Um, that's the services that a provider provide are all geared towards helping parents and teachers that have challenging kids. So, and I think you've done something really clever that you have kind of designed a, a parent coaching package. Yeah. Um, and I think this is clever because most of us, you know, don't necessarily want to step into therapy. We're, we're, we don't want the stigma. Right. But you've got something that's helps us but is has a little bit more boundaries tell me about it yeah so I, I have a 90-day parent coaching package that I created and I created that based on shoot maybe 20 years of working <laughs> with kids and realizing that a lot of the frustration that I was having or the parents are having is you know the behavior improves at school or maybe it improves in the therapy office um, but it's not generalized in all settings and uh, what I found is that the parents that are invested and that when they have the tools and support and guidance that they need so they can actually help the kids in the in the moment where they're struggling the most, that the change is permanent. And so I developed over a 90-day period just a way to help coach and guide parents the very intentional, strategic <laughs> set of tools to help them become the child's hero, uh, the child's best therapist. Um, and then the child never even needs to do therapy. Well, I, I think it's interesting that, I mean, as parents, we don't get a manual. We, right. we, we kind of learn, my dad used to refer to us, my brother and I, as tester one and tester two. You know, you get a little mm -hmm. bit better as, with the next child. But you, you this is kind of the manual. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm the oldest of six boys, so I was test subject <laughs> number one. <laughs> my, my brother, that's the youngest, he was the golden child because my parents, I think, either mastered it or completely worn out by then. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you know, if, if, if I'm a parent and I'm really struggling with my kid, uh, it, it, you know, and, and the kid's struggling at home and, and at school, and I could go to the library and find 500 different parenting approach books. Um, or I could go see 500 different therapists and I'd probably get some similarity, but a lot of differences. And so um, what I do is help guide the parents in a, in a process that's going to be very personal and genuine for them. It's based on their value system, the age of their kid, the, the type of behaviors, and, and I give them a really kind of clear set of boundaries and skills, but how, how they implement that is completely different from family to family. Um, and, and that's why I think a lot of the parents that I work with really benefit from what I do because it, they, they buy in. It's mm -hmm. personal, it's unique, and it's not some formula that they have to do you know, the same as, you know, the, the other families that I work with. Right, and you, you do this, um, and you meet mostly with the parents. You don't necessarily meet with the child. Yeah, most, most of the phone calls are parents asking for therapy for their child or adolescent, but after we've met for an hour, they're like, the real issue or the most helpful route to take would be for us as the parents to know what to do day in and day out. Um, and, and once I talk to them about the approach I use and how it's working and, um, what it's going to look like it becomes much more realistic and achievable and get buy-in almost immediately. That's great. Now, you, you've gotten a lot of specialized certification to be able to do this. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so I, I've been in this field for about 20 years, and I would say probably the first 13 years have all been in therapeutic uh, alternative residential school settings. Um, and I was about ready to quit the field. I was just getting burned out, working with challenging kids can, can do that to you mm -hmm. if you don't have the right framework. So um, it's kind of interesting. I, I had a flyer that came into my mailbox, uh, Transform the Difficult Child, the Nurtured Heart Approach, and immediately grabbed my attention. I went to a one-day training, and within 30 minutes, I just felt like this was answering all the questions that I had of why this isn't working. 
um, and decided to spend a lot of time and, and resources to become a certified trainer for the approach. And it's really the heartbeat of, of everything I do now. All the coaching, both in the home and the school setting, is all delivering this service and this framework and putting it in the parents' and teachers' hands. That's awesome because you, you, you brought up the word teacher and school, so you go into the schools as well? Yeah, I've I actually I'm working with two different schools right now where I, I do a full day training for all the staff and then I go into the classrooms and observe teachers and then we coach afterwards and just really help them grow in their development and their implementation of, of the Nurtured Heart Approach. Uh, very similar to how I would do it with parents. You know, we meet for about an hour a week, mm -hmm. and they just keep getting better and better and better at it until I'm not needed anymore. <laughs> and then I move on to the next school, so it's pretty cool. Well, and, and the teacher in the school, I mean, they spend a tremendous amount of time with your child, so it would make sense to have everybody kind of on the same page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when, when you have a parent and the teacher kind of working from the same framework, uh, kids rapidly change at home and school for the better obviously but um, there isn't this this tension between what is the parent doing at home that's causing the problem or what is the teacher doing in school or not doing at school that if they were doing it would make our life at home a lot easier um, just getting them on the same page uh, is just so helpful on so many different levels and, and does the child um, know all of this is going on, or is this something... Oh, they're well aware of what's going on, and I think it's really important to be transparent. You know, I'm not sure as the adult um, what to do at all mm -hmm. times, so I'm going to ask for help. And what I've realized is that a lot of the time and energy that I've put into this has been about trying to fix the problem rather than how to grow what's already working. And when kids hear that, they're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I don't like the negativity either. You know, I do have strengths, but... You know, it's real hard to know what those are and how to utilize them if nobody ever sees them or talks about them, which is really the foundation of, of Nurtured Heart to begin with. Um, just really challenging your awareness on what you see, what you energize when you engage with kids. And with challenging kids, they learn super quick that we are online with deep connection around problems. Um, and it's very, very important for them to be seen and noticed. So when they're seen and noticed around the problem, um, it's hard for that problem to go away just through discipline or trying to reward with external rewards and um, kind of the traditional counseling and, and therapy approaches. What's been most satisfying for you? Um, seeing kids feel great about who they are. Um, not being shamed or feeling guilty or embarrassed because they have behavioral problems. Um, being able to let that go and see their self-esteem and just see that transformation from the inside that translates into change in behavior. And then seeing the parent and child like in this great relationship rather than this conflict all the time. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Dan, thanks for stopping by and telling me a little bit about what you do and how you do it so well. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. We'll be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned.